Russian military officials released video showing Russian soldiers carrying out repairs to armored vehicles in the field and reintroducing them into service. New turrets can be seen being fitted onto tanks, as rows of them appear to be put back into service. The image shows the repair vehicles opening fire, presumably to make sure that their long guns can still fire. Tanks can be seen being loaded onto the back of trucks as the footage ends. The Russian Minister of Defense, MOD said on June 2nd, Specialist of our repair and restoration units carry out work during the special military operation. Servicemen carry out the repair of weapons and military equipment in the field. In order to return the equipment to service as soon as possible, specialists use the method of model repair by replacing faulty parts with the serviceable ones from the repair fund or removing from the captured equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine. This method of repair allows you to significantly reduce the time for commissioning faulty weapons. After recovery, the equipment returns to its formation and military units. Russian troops invaded Ukraine on February 24 in what the Kremlin is still calling a special military operation. June 3 marks the 100th day of the campaign. From February 24 to June 2, the total combat loss of Russian troops stand at around 30,850 personnel, according to General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Analysts say over 70% of the city of Severodonetsk is now controlled by invading Russian forces, with almost all critical infrastructure and housing destroyed. The Russian MOD said in a statement on June 1st that its ERs mobile missile systems, which can carry nuclear warheads and which boost a reported range of over 10,000 kilometers, were performing intensive maneuvering operations on combat patrol routes in the Ivanovo region, east of the Russian capital, Moscow. This comes after President Joe Biden said he will send key more advanced rocket systems that will help to strike enemy forces from a longer distance. These rocket systems have doubled the range of the rocket systems used by Russian forces and are said to be much more accurate.